All right, so we picked it up. We have a game this time. It's Man U versus Best. Uh, uh, Dan and Carl versus Beamer and Kseb. And Beamer's gonna come out with an early kill with the dual revolvers. And he's gonna pick up the second kill on Dan as well. And they're gonna get an early round to Team Best. Uh, do you have Cole Cummins in the booth with me this time? Cole, can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you. That was a quick little double kill here from Beamer with the double pistols. That was Double pistols have really brought up a lot of conversation on, um, you know, it's kind of controversial. Are, should they be banned? Should they be allowed? Personally, my stance on them is if, if you're not using them, you can't use a knife. And uh, that kind of limits your rush capabilities. So I've, I'm kind of for them. It's a bit of a trade-off. I think knife is better for setting up and, you know, getting more information because you can get to spots quicker. Especially if you want to beat someone to a rush or you're going to win it every time. But the dual pistols are a great offhand. I mean, they're you can't really beat these pistols up close. Like, they're going to one-tap you, so... It's kind of a trade-off. So, I mean, banned or not, it doesn't really matter to me personally. So, Man U does know that they pushed to A site. How are they going to react? It looks like Carl's going for a flank as Dan's just trying to kind of hold the ground while he's waiting for a He sees Beamer. He's going to get Beamer with the bomb. But bomb's down. Now, Kesa has to make a big play right here. He picks up the bomb, gets out with it, and now he's stuck in the bathrooms. So he's going to get a kill on Carl, and he does. And now he's made it a 1v1 with bomb. And Dan still thinks it's a date, but Kseb's taken off towards B. Yeah, we got a nice little 1v1 here. I think this B plant is smart. Dan needs to really watch this crossbind. He's going to get shot in the back if he doesn't. When he sees him, and and he's going to pick up the yep. kill long range. Make it 2-0 for team best. Team right? the best. Team the best. You know, dub team the worst after their loss yesterday, but I think today might be a redemption. Yeah, it could be. This will be a good game. I think these teams are more evenly matched. Um, I don't know. This whole group, whole group B, has been really nuts to follow. Um, I'm I'm not sure what's gonna happen. So I I got I could believe in Carl and Dan here. Man, you I think they can definitely make a comeback here, being down 2-0. They just gotta clean up a little bit. Carl has bomb. They're looking towards that A side push. Throw some nades, but then now they're kind of rotating back to B. Maybe they kind of wanted to use it as a little decoy. Coming back to B side. He's going to see Beamer here in a second. Beamer's coming around the corner. And it's going to be a quick double kill for Man U to get a round win that they really needed. Make it 1-2. Absolutely. This, this is the momentum that I think they need. You know, get 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 a round under your belt. Get some kills here. They might have been a little bit more alive before that, but I think if they just keep, keep this going, you know, just keep some wins going, this is uh, going to be good for them. Now we're going to have Beamer and Kseb on offense. Let's see what they do with it. Do they have a plan? Or are they going to play split? I think they're going to go A here. Which Ooh, and I like that they're going behind the building too. That makes this a sneaky push. But Dan is in the building with them. He hears him. Dead silence going. Oh, Ooh. doesn't get the kill though. Kind of gave up the positioning there. Shot a little premature. We'll see how Beamer's they play this. Building with the and he's going to get a double revolver kill. That's almost like a shotgun. Yep, it is basically a shotgun. And, and, and there he goes again. With the double so, pistol, two kills. Seems pretty strong from our point of view here. Yeah, the power of those pistols up close is crazy. Um, but like you said, there's a little bit of trade-off. When you run these things, you lose mobility, which stops your ability to rush with the knife. The knife is super strong for rush plays. If you're not rushing, I could see the, the advantage from the revolvers, but... Otherwise, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, if, if it, they if Manu did have knife offhands, they could probably just rush a plant before uh, Team Best could get there and then get a good setup going. They really so need Beamer's to work doing, on that. Yeah, Beamer's doing some work with these revolvers right now. He's got dead silence, um, and it looks like they're everyone's stacking B-side. Um, not sure if he's going to make a dead silence play or not here, but definitely in a good position. Dan's about to peek, and Beamer's going to see him. Ooh, he gets some shots down. Good peak timing from Carl and Dan, and they know that he's there. I wonder if they're going to rotate out of this. Yeah, they absolutely should rotate out of this. Uh, they, they got the information they need. They just need to go A here, and I think that might be the plan here with Bomb. If they rotate quickly, they can catch I, Beamer and Wheaties off guard. It seems like they, they think that they could apparently have teleportation powers. Maybe they didn't have all the information they needed, but they, they have the room here. You know, They definitely saw two of them back there. 
Well, Dan's gonna find the first kill. Now he sees, he hears Beamer back here in his spawn. He knows Beamer's in the building. He's probably telling his teammate right now, hey, go plant A. I got Beamer in his spawn. Beamer's got no height advantage here. Yeah, they just need to play patient here. You know, plant, plant bomb and then catch the rotation from Beamer. You just gotta be real patient. Let's bomb see what he does. A. Ooh, Beamer with the dead silence play though. Maybe he can make that work for him. Nope. Ooh! Oh! oh. The bullets bent around the corner to pick up that kill. Make it a two to three lead advantage of the team best. Yeah, they kind of curved the bullet kills. there, you know. Angelina Jolie kind of taught him how to do that, it seems. So pretty pretty nice bullet curve there for the kill. Is that like a Matrix reference? No, that's, uh, I forget. It's um where they kill people, you know? And you got Morgan Freeman uh, and like all the... Oh, yes. Charlie's Angels. Yes, Charlie's Angels. Yep, that's so it. So Beamer now on offense as the bomb. He's got the dual pistols. He's going to take it to A again. He knows if he can get it into A site. He's got those dual revolvers that are seriously overpowered in close range. I, I like this. Quick, you know, plant quick. Get a setup going. This is what they should be doing almost every round. Dan being a little passive. And he's going to regret it when he sees that bomb is now down. Beamer is going to be on the hunt with these shotgun revolvers in his hand. They slid below Dan there, and he looked up. Maybe his headset's on backwards. I'm not sure. Let's see how they approach this. You know, they got a good setup going. I like what they're doing. Here. And one kill down. Good one kill for Beamer. Can okay, up yours here. Get the double kill. Looking pretty I'll be grim. Looking for it. He's playing passive. I don't think he's gonna find it. He sees one. If he can just get a quick kill here. Nope. Yep. So not. And those 1v2s are never easy. You know, even if you find the first one, there's chances are if they're playing it right, the second one's gonna be right there. So Yeah, I think you just gotta be you got you gotta go for a gamble in the 1v2s. You can't you can't just sit back. Sometimes you gotta take that first gunfight immediately and try to make it a quick 1v1 as quick as possible. So, team the best. Up four to two. Man you down. I mean, they're going to have to do something different here. Uh, Carl especially, he's not getting a lot of kills. I think their setups are just kind of bad, or, you know, even on defense and offense, if they can just kind of work together a little better. Ooh, and a quick kill here. On Early two. kill from Dan. Oh, he's going to go for the second, but he's not going to be able to get it. Beamer's got those dual pistols. Not going to put him away for now. The 1v1 situation. Bomb is going down now. Carl's planting. Beamer's going to find him planting right now. He saw him, but I don't think he noticed. And Carl noticed. Ooh, Carl and with he's the gonna pick it up. And that's exactly what we just talked about. Carl needed to step up for Team Man U, and Absolutely. he does it in the crucial moments. Yeah, that was a really, really good time for him to do it too. Nice little, you know, movement there. I like how he played behind the bomb for that kill. That was really good by him to get that one v one locked down. So. This could be, you know, a bit of a comeback here for Team Man U. I'd like to see it. You know, we love those games going, you know, to 11 matches. Well, we do know that every map is sided, so the defense should have a slight advantage. And now Man U, down 3-4, has defense. So Dan has been getting some solid kills for the team. Let's see how he does. They're stacking A. And um, I think this is just really poor timing because even though they're stacking A and getting some map control over here, the bomb has gone over to B site and it's going down right now. Yeah, they I mean, are not prepared at all. I think stacking's just not the move in twos. I think you just you need to either cover each cover a lane or each cover a bomb and just kind of go for either a trade or you back off with information and group with your team. I, they they went for the gamble there. It can sometimes work, but um, we'll see if they can make it work at a disadvantage. He's gonna look for a kill. He's gonna go down early. So K said. Ooh, he doesn't oh, get the couldn't second, find the though. second kill. So Manu does end up even at a disadvantage. Not, you know, team the best had a good setup there, but Manu just came out clutch. Is it gonna make it four four? This is one of the closest matches we've seen in Group B. Yeah, Carl again though, coming out clutch in the end. Uh, he really stepped it up since we started talking shit about him. Yeah, I think he was hurt, hurt us talking. I don't know. I think he may have had hurt feelings. Yeah, <laughs> potentially. There are some of those around here, but you know what? We're all friends. <laughs> Feelings? Who's got feelings? Not you. So, <laughs> back on offense, man, you it has to make a play this round. Uh, make sure we pick up the bomb, guys. So, Carl's going to grab the bomb, and it looks like they're going to be playing for mid-map control. Oh, well, maybe. 
Yeah, I think Dan's just trying to get a maybe hold mid here, maybe get a pick if he can. I don't know if that's gonna work. You haven't seen a lot of team the best going for mid control at all, so. I'm gonna give it up, and they're gonna be able to plant. But Kaseb's on the roof. He knows now. Ooh. And from mid, here comes Beamer. Beamer panics. Couldn't he comes back kill. in. And the shotgun pistols get him the first kill. Now Shadow Dan has to make a play right here. They're defusing the bomb right now. And he's gonna get a stop. He's, he's gonna get him off. Oh, oh, Dan almost with the clutch with the pistol, but does not clutch it up at the end. Team the best is going to take this round and make it the match point. Really good play there from Kaseb. Um, I It's still a close match, though. I think, man, you can maybe come back here, you know, make it a 5-5. That'd be really cool to see. Yeah, evenly matched all around. Look at these guys. Four kills, five kills, six kills, seven kills. Uh, everyone's having solid games. Everyone's putting in good efforts, and this is a very even match so far match point or best all right can team the best take this first game or can manu come back and take it to match point themselves we'll see they are on defense and that is advantage to them so hopefully they can uh you know get make this a really good game well bomb is going to go to a side they're doing a bit of a split offensive push Maybe to catch your opponent off guard, but it's not going to work out very well when the other team stacks A on defense. He needs to get this bomb out now. I really like Beamer's movement here. Yeah, I like him. Get the information. Don't challenge that. Just just take the bomb and rotate to B. I, I really like this play. Questionable use of dead silence given the fact that he was all the way in a spawn. And... Yeah, he definitely knew at least one was there and potentially two. I don't. I, don't, I didn't see the exact point of view, but I, I do like the rotation. But Dan's got a good spot right here. Popping those dead silence too. Let's see if he gets a peek. Oh no! They could pinch right here. Get the case up. Dan needs this to carry on. And he's gonna go down. And Sweet. that's gonna be Ooh. Oh! I'm sorry, I I was misinformed. Nope, Carl so that... Carl wins the gunfight in the back and then comes up clutch killing Kaseb. That was really, really nice play from Carl. Carl just popping off here and they're getting really clutch in these rounds. Kaseb choking a little bit. Their setup was a little bad. They kinda allowed a crossfire to happen. I like so to see that it. Is, that is Carl's third clutch, and this is the final round. First time we've seen 5-5 in the tournament, I believe. We've got Man U on offense. They have to make a play right here. Let's see what side they decide to go. Maybe something a little passive. What do you think? Sometimes you see people get nervous in situations. Duncan. I think I got my money on Man U here. I think they got the momentum. I do too. I think the other women on the Carl's been playing really good. But both teams are stacking A. This is going to be a crazy round. Shadow Dan sees Weed Easy. Let's see him. He's laying down. Shadow Dan's going to get the first Ooh. kill. And Advantage. Beamer's going to pick up Shadow Dan. So now it's a 1v1. Carl, who's came up clutch so many times for Man United. Can Carl make the this fourth kill clutch of this round here? This would be really cool to see. Are they going to... He probably should rotate the plant, but you think he wants to play for the kill. Looks like he wants to plant A. Maybe look for the kill again. I'm not sure. Beamer, though, is kind of just running around checking with his head cut off with these double pistols. Oh, oh the double what? pistols again. <sighs> unfortunate. So that isn't... Yeah, that's unfortunate for Man U. But great play here from Beamer. You know, he, he really... I think Man U just really did not expect the double pistols in their face again, even though it's happened time to time. They should have rotated. But in the end, Beamer does clutch up himself, and they take the first round here in this best of two. What I loved about that game was we saw valiant efforts from every member in the game. Um, we saw highs and lows from everyone. Uh, Carl, with the least amount of damage in the game, had three clutches. So that's awesome. Uh, great match. Six to five. This is one of the best best matches we've seen as far as balance in the tournament. But we are going to go ahead and take this to intermission. And um, I'm not sure if we'll be back for the second map or not. We may be picking up uh, another broadcast. Um, but if we are back, stay tuned and we'll be with you shortly.